Victory. Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Carlo. We are just over 24 hours away from another action-packed edition of the Friday Football Fever. We are talking the most in-depth high school football show in Southern Arizona. And this week, there's actually an early Thursday night game this evening between Desert View and Rincon. Let's head on out to Midtown where the Rangers were storming right at you. Coach Mike Strack and his boys were hoping to win for the fourth time in six games, but right off the bat, it would be Desert View striking first. Check out Serge Boway. Take it into the house, Serge Boway, saying, Oi, way. That is because Boway would be called back. The TD's called back, but hey, let's check it out again. And this time, Boway will carry the ball all the way to the goal line. That sets up a TD to put the Jaguars up early. And on the ensuing kickoff, how about Steven Geiger? Making it happen, Captain. Gotta love the nice run back, breaking tackles until finally he will be thrown out of bounds. Last check, our, uh, Jaguars leading by two. We have more on KVOA.com. Moving on, starting tonight at Kino Stadium, past and future major leaguers and prospects are hitting the field for the Mexican baseball fiesta. Popular pro baseball teams in this region pack Kino Stadium as they continue their preseason training in the old Pueblo. We are talking the Hermosillo Naranjeros, Obregón Yaquis, Los Mochis Cañeros, Culiacán Tomateros, Navajo Mayos, Aguilas de Mexicali, and pro spot prospects from the White Sox. Thousands turned out tonight in the early game. The Obregón Yaquis trailed 3-2 against the Cañeros from Los Mochis, and with a runner in scoring position, Tomás Solís will come through for the Yaquis. The RBI will tie things up in this game ends in a 3-3 tie. There'll be more games on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Also, the next two days, the classic rivalry game will take place between Hermosillo and Obregón, two teams that pack Kino Stadium every year right here in Tucson. Big crowds tonight. All right, don't look now, but the winner of Saturday's matchup between the U of A and Colorado will also be all alone in first place in the Pac-12 South. Yes, you heard me right. Every other Pac-12 team in the South has a loss already. We are talking USC, Utah, Arizona State, and UCLA. A win would also give the Cats four victories in a row. And with Arizona's defense improving every week, there's lots of excited fans out there. That's for sure. Especially if you're a Wildcat fan, got to be excited. Even with the uncertainty of Khalil Tate's injury, the quarterback position still seems to be in good hands if freshman Grant Gannell gets some snaps again this weekend. Remember, he threw for around 350 yards and was named the Pac-12 Freshman of the Week. Also, some little-known wide receivers coming into the season are now getting some press. That includes this guy, number five, junior wide receiver Brian Castile. The play you are looking at ended up being called back because apparently Castile's knee was down during the catch right there. But hey, still, his athleticism and breaking off tackles and then some and route to the touchdown. Well, that's also getting some eyes out there. Check it out. He's the top of the Pac-12. I guess I kind of use my running back skills that I have to uh, break some tackles. And um, I came around, I got loose from the first one. I came around and it was actually one of my <clears throat> friends I grew up with, number 12 on UCLA, trying to tackle me, uh, Elijah Gates. And I, I just kept trying to just move my feet as, as much as I could and uh, continue trying to score. And he let me go, and then after that, I just, it was a good feeling. What a feeling. Unfortunately, called back, but hey, still the talk of the Pac-12. We'll be right back with the last look at your weather.